हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नाजिज्म एंड द राइज ऑफ हिटलर सो फ्रेंड यस्टरडे वी स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज द बर्थ ऑफ द वीमेन रिपब्लिक इन विच वी डन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द Women Republic, and in second, and also we done the Treaty of Versailles. So in the first part, now by continuing this part, let us start first the effects of the First World War. the first world war its impact on the whole continent europe both both psychological and financially it affect the europe because the battleground was europe so it destroyed whole europe the settlement of europe its agriculture its, its industrial so it face a fine europe now face a lot of financial problem on other hand obviously the war affect people psychology also now europe a uh, rich continent at that time who was a creditor gives a lot of credit to different countries now turn into a debtors the newly made wimmer republic carried the burden of the war guilt and accept whole conditions of the treaty of versailles as we know that this treaty of versailles was a a national humiliation for germany it actually insult a lot to germany and that is why these people who carried out the burden of the war guilt and accept the treaty of versailles means the people of wimmer republics later known as or famous by november criminals criminals means they are they are the criminal of a country germany and november means because the treaty was happened in the month of november so that is why they were known as november criminals trench life the, the word is given in your book where the meaning of the word trench life means here on the battleground trenches are made trenches means the land is dug 4 to 5 feet and this is how the soldiers do war from these trenches and they were not seen from these trenches so this is how the wimmer republic and the media of germany glorified this trench life a lot but the actual truth of this trench life is that the conditions of the soldiers are not good if anyone if uh, for example if my friends my colleague my soldier my friend who is also a soldier and i am also a soldier he was injured by a bullet so he was injured by a bullet and it is not possible for us to send this soldier to hospital because by this these enemies will see us so i in my eyes in front of my eyes see my friend that how my friend lost his life and dead and after death also
the body of the soldiers was not thrown outside because by this also the enemies can see the soldiers of trench trench which are in the trenches so this is how the body was keep inside the trenches and slowly slowly the body the smells comes out from the body this is how the soldiers of the trenches actually live a very dirty and a very bad life more than a life of a hell actually they live a life of a hell life now this is how we done our first part that uh, the first topic of the first part that is the, the effect of the wars now let us come to the second topic that is the political radicalism and economic crisis that is the political radicalism and the economic crisis so first start with political radicalism the soviets of the workers and the sailors were established in many cities here the meaning of the soviets is the union so uh, many unions were made of workers and sailors which were established in many cities of the germanies and these all just were these all workers and sailors I mean the soviets were not happy with the weimar republic a democratic government and that is why they all demands for a soviet style of government a soviet style of government where in 1917 socialism was established and in this socialism from a farmer or worker to a president each and every one get salary and each and everything which is found in a nation is a property of a nation not a personal property the socialist democrats and the catholics of the weimar republics the weimar republics is made as we already discussed that this uh, republic was made by different parties like socialist democrats and the catholics so these types of ideolo ideology was there and all the socialist democrats and catholics they opposed the demands of the workers that is the soviet style of governance means the russian style of government and they all want a demo they all want to give a democratic shape to their country here the socialists are not the socialist of russia these socialists favor democracy while the russian social socialism doesn't favor the democracy and according to them each and everything must be a property of a nation and there is a public sector in a country the uprising which was made by the soviets or the unions of workers and sailors this was crushed by the weimar republic with the help of free corps now what is a free corps when the army was military was demilitarized the 
military was demilitarized in germany after the treaty of versailles the weimar republic asked all those soldiers which took part in the first world war that they can voluntarily become a part of the force which weimar republic is ma making and if they take part voluntarily in this corps or we can say the force then no action will be taken against them and they were not treated as war criminals so there were many soldiers who comes and take part in the force made by the weimar republic and this force is known as free corps so this is how with the help of free corps weimar republic crushed the uprising these soviets were known as partisans and these partisans found german communist party later they found german communist party and this is how what we see here is that the communist means this partisist and the socialist hence for become enemies of each other so they always try to like pull to each others and this is how we see a controversy a dispute in between both of these parties and this is how hitler was raised it got time it got chance to raise up this is how communist and socialist could not make a common cause against hitler this is how we done the points political radicalism here and let us do the economic crisis what is mean by economic crisis economic crisis Germany for the war largely on loans it take a lot of loan for the first world war this is how germany comes under debt and but because now there is no value of mark so now germany had to pay all these debt or its loan in gold which creates a lot of problem and help to create economic crisis in germany because now it is not possible for the weimar republic to give gold because already the value of the mark goes down so in the year 1923 weimar republic refused to pay gold or we can say to pay loan so according to the treaty of versailles france occupied its rural region a rural region which is too much rich in minerals to come out from this problem what the weimar republic do is it start printed paper currency recklessly and this help to fell down the value of mark mark is the currency of germany
this situation to be known as hyper inflation so this is how we done our second topic the political radicalism and the economic crisis of our first part the birth of the republic now let us continue the first part of the chapter the birth of the republic let's start the last topic that is the year of depression the years of depressions germany was depend on the short term loans from usa america On 24 October 13 million shares were sold in the Wall Street exchange <laughs> means now what happened that during the first world war the battleground was Europe and that is why now there is no industrial production and there is no agriculture production in Europe during the war period but there was a lot of demand for this and this demand was fulfilled by American industries and that is and this is how america developed a lot the industries of america developed a lot during the first world war and people invest a lot of money in the industries but when the world war end in the year 1918 the demands from the europe stop but already the industries of america pro produced a lot of production product and now uh, people also invest a lot of money and this is how the companies face a lot of problem people were fear of this and on 24th october only this is the single day when 13 million people uh, sold their shares in the wall street exchange this wall street exchange is a share market of america but there was no one who will buy their shares so this is how we see a fall in a single day in america but it is germany who was worst hit because now america stopped giving short term loans to germany and the situations of germany becomes more acute the workers in germany lost their jobs because of this as you can see in the pictures given in your ncert books also but the youth has to earn something for themselves and for their family if they cannot get money and other things directly then they use indirect methods for this means the youth of germany took to criminal activities the currency of germany lost its value as it is given in your book also that 24000 mark is equal to 1 us dollar but after 10 months more than 9 crore or we can say after 10 months 10 crore mark is equal to 1 us dollar so this is how we see how much fall in the german currency the thing which comes for example one cup of tea comes in 1 us dollar means 24000 mark now that cup of tea comes on 10 crore marks the society filled with the fear of proletarianizations 
now what happened the conditions of the people of germany was very bad peoples are living on footpath as you can see on your book photos also they hanged a plank on their neck and it was written on their plank that they are ready to do any work means job was not there uh, if you see on the same page the people were sleeping on a rope they are standing and this is how they sleep on a rope with the help of a rope for this condition also they have to pay rent for this so the people who are rich in germany and they had a lot of money in their bank now when they see this situation and especially the value of currency now they were feared that it may be possible that very soon they will also come on footpath so this fear of those people that very soon they will also come on footpath is known as proletarianization the next point is because of this this we see there was a sharp fall in agriculture prices also so the not only the people of urban areas were facing this problem the people of rural areas the farmers were also facing the same problems both the people were not getting money and this is how this situation of germany made it un the situation of germany made germany unstable and vulnerable to the situation of dictatorship in germany because now we can see the weimar republic is totally failed uh, to cope up the conditions of germany after the war this proportional representations also create problem in germany the meaning of proper re pro proportional representation means that because no one get a majority in the election so the weimar republic is made up of all the political parties according to their votes the ratio is taken in the executive so this is how we see there is no opposition in weimar republic because there is no opposition in the weimar republic so no one is there to criticize the government or to guide the government and because in the government also the government is made up of different different ideology the ideology of socialist catholics democrats etc so this weimar republic cannot come to a conclusion or cannot take a proper decision and that is why the president of germany took the decision of using article 48 the meaning of the article 48 48 is that it gives the it gives power to president to dissolve the government and this is how the president of germany dissolved the weimar republic many times in a very short period of few years that is 5 to 6 years it dissolved weimar republic 20 times and this is how we see that each cabinet in germany do their work on an average of 235 days only so this is how we see totally instability in germany and this creates a lot of problems and now people lost their confidence in this government the people now totally lost their confidence in the democratic or we can say the parliamentary form of government and they also want something new in the in their country and this hope is given by the hitler and hitler was raised in germany how hitler was raised in germany and took power of germany and how he destroyed the democracy of germany and reconstruct germany according to his ideology that's all we will discuss in our second part of the chapter in our 
this next part in our next part of the video the third part of the video that's all in this second part of the video where we will now complete our whole first part any kind of problem you face you can visit to my blog which is bipindogra dot blogspot dot in again for reminding you we done the birth of republic in which the establishment of Vima Republic and Treaty of Versailles in the first part of the video and to, in this part we done the effects of the war, political radicalism and the economic crisis and we also done the year of depression in this part. That's all for this part. Thank you students.